If you follow the link to our textbook, it will bring you to this website. And this website is the textbook that we're going to be using for this course. You'll notice that the table of contents only has the first nine chapters filled in. Once you get through 10 through 21, there's no more um, individual sections. The reason for that is that we are only covering the first nine chapters in this course. So this textbook is a one-stop shop for everything you need from the, for this course. You can find the syllabus, you can find information on using the homework, you can find this video about how to use the textbook. And basically, I want to show you briefly how to use it. So when you click on the point one of any chapter, in this case 0 0.1, you will find the lecture notes. You can simply click on this and it will bring up the lecture notes for that chapter um, in uh, your web browser. You could also download it as a PDF if you would prefer to have a PDF or you, or you would prefer to print it out. Also you will notice for every single section you will find a video and if you click on the video th that video will play and these are recorded to give you information about what you will find in that section. If you want to go back, you can click here, and this will take you back to the table of contents. Or if you reach the end of the section, you can click next, and it will take you to the next section, and you will see a new video. So chapter zero is a math review. Chapter one is the essential ideas. So you're going to start with a review of some math, math things, and the videos are mostly just examples. As you get to the more chemistry, type of uh, content starting with chapter one you're going to find that the lectures the video recorded lectures are a combination of um, examples mathematical often um, sometimes not and also general ideas about what's going on so they'll give you concepts like you know how is an atom arranged how is an what are some of the major experiments of how an atom was discovered what is stoichiometry and why do we use it and things like this and they will also give you examples however in the interest of time i need to let you know that these videos are using a little bit less examples than you'd find in a course so if you were to watch all these videos they're a little over 18 hours so these videos are designed to give you a few examples there's a couple things I need to say about this. First, you should watch actively, not while you're watching TV or talking to your friends on your phone or whatever, but you should just watch actively. Treat it like it's a real lecture. Have a piece of paper out, take notes, and actively watch the lectures just like you would be doing in a classroom. Secondly, if, it, if you go through an example or a concept and you're not sure, you should rewind it. Watch it again and make sure you have it before moving on to the next thing. Chemistry is highly cumulative, so it's really important um, to get the basics down. It's like building a house. Build a good foundation in the first few chapters, and then things in the fourth chapter will make a lot more sense, and so on and so forth. So it's really important um, to actively watch, take notes, and be aware that if you were taking an actual lecture course, the instructor would go over more examples. So use the examples wisely and rewatch them as necessary. And again, the reason that we limited uh, somewhat the examples is to make the videos a little bit shorter. Already for each chapter, you have approximately two hours worth of videos and we didn't want to increase that. The final thing I want to say is, if you're taking this course in four weeks, this is a tremendous amount of information to get through in four weeks. This is general chemistry. It is not watered down. It is not less than you would get in an in-person lecture course. It is the same amount of material. You need to stay on top of it. You need to work, work hard. You need to be self-motivated because this is a fast-paced course and there are no shortcuts. We look forward to working with you in general chemistry and you using our book. One more time very quickly, if you go to the 0 0.1 of any chapter, you can download the lecture notes, no login is required. And for every single section, at the beginning of that section, there is a video specifically designed for that section that explains um, what you're gonna learn there. Some of them are relatively short and others are much longer. Same with the videos, some are relatively short and others are much longer. We look forward to having you in the course and welcome to General Chemistry.